morning everyone welcome back to another video i do apologize if you cannot see me very well at this moment in time i don't know how good the lighting is in here <clears throat> obviously it is the end of november it's currently 7 35 in the morning i've waited an hour to do this intro since setting off uh, just because of the fact that it was pitch black when i set off this morning so today we're doing something a little bit different so i'm heading down to leicester to r and r customs i will leave a link to their facebook page down below Right guys, so down at R&R &R Customs, this is Zibs, and uh, he's just going to go through briefly what he offers uh, for coding wires and explain the process for you. Alright then guys, um, my name's Ibs, as you've already heard, R&R uh, &R Custom. So today what we're doing is a bit of coding on this uh, Cupra, uh, just unlock some features that obviously um, weren't on there from factory and stuff like that, uh, just a few few bits and bobs with the uh, stereo as well and uh, just pretty much have a play with it and see um, see what we can open up and stuff so let's get cracking and uh, show you what we can do so the process that has just been done Ibs is going to explain it to us now we've already had a little look just to see what what was up against and uh, we'll he'll take it from here right then so um, obviously plugged it in uh, just to check for any faults scan the whole system um, so nothing popped up that's major obviously it's had a decat so that just it's telling you the flow is a bit off but obviously you can't clear that until it's had a remap so 
just, just going to wait for him to sort of get a remap and that, that'll be out there. Um, activated a few bits, obviously the brake, brake pad uh, sensors, the wash, washer fluid level, um, had a look through the system and it's, it's got quite a few options already on it so it's, it's really specced out. Uh, check the stereo, it just needs a, we just need to sort of look into it a bit more um, so I can actually get into the radio module because at the moment it won't let me uh, get into the radio. So I think it's probably an issue with either the control module or just a wiring issue. So what we're going to have to do is get the old radio, plug it in, see if it does come up on VCDS. And if it does, then obviously we'll go from there and see see if we can fault find it. But as of now, I think uh, everything that's, that can be activated and that, uh, that's just, yeah, good to go. So I think... I think my mate here is happy, so... Yeah, well, you've brought the nav up on the screen, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, the, the nav's now working on there. It shows you, obviously, north, south, west, whatever. Uh, he'll just show you in a minute. I don't know if it'll uh, respond. There we are. There you go. Don't know well that's going to come up. So that tells you, basically, what road you're on and what, what obviously, uh, direction you're heading. So, yeah, so that's, that's that for now, but... Hopefully we will get this sorted with the uh, with the whole uh, badge situation and everything. And, yeah. Um, as of now, yeah, all good to go. I mean, to be fair, mate, I won't lie. I'm I'm quite impressed with Adcom. Yeah. Like, some of the stuff we found out, it's got the puddle light module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's activated as well. So if if you ever wanted puddle lights, all you have to do is plug them in. Because I've activated that and it's taken it well, so the car obviously has the module for it. Yeah. So literally just plug it in and uh, you'll be good to go. Yeah, we found found quite a few things, guys. That was was turned off from the factory. Um, from what I, from what we can understand, a lot of it is generally there. It is just a case of turning it on, isn't it? That's it. That's um, it. So what what was your uh, your prices for your sessions again? So if you just want a basic coding session, it's twenty five pounds. Any ad adaptation with that is ten pound extra. Uh, that includes literally everything you want, anything you want to adapt. If you change a math sensor, just anything like that. And like you mentioned to you, obviously your car's probably got all the modules that you need. Well, most of them anyway. Um, it, they might not work in your car, but that doesn't mean you can't have it. All you have to do is activate it on Vagcom. But like I say, just get drop us a message, and I can see what I can sort out for you. Um, obviously, my Facebook page R and R Custom. I'm on Instagram as well, uh, at rnr underscore custom underscore. Uh, give us a search, give us a message, and uh, happy to sort it out for you. Brilliant. I'll make sure all his links are down below as well in the description. So do head over to his pages, give him a like and a follow. Like you say, you've got his prices. I think they're very, very reasonable. So, and especially for what we've found out. Like, I thought I knew a lot about this car, and then I met this guy, and he's just completely shown me loads of stuff I didn't even know existed so yeah give him a follow drop him a message I'm sure I'll sort you out tell him uh, tell him you came through me and I'm sure uh, I'm sure I'll be happy to help alright of course, All right. of course. Right, stay safe guys thank you very much alright stay safe guys until next time take care